Hey guys, so this is my review of episode 5 of Westworld season 1. Again, I have uh, issues, I just, I'm away on a little vacation, so I'm very limited with what I have, so it's very straight up. Either way, this episode is probably one of the most intriguing episodes of the entire show. Weird sex orgy shit, uh, robots figuring out who they are, and Anthony Hopkins actually making contact with one of the hosts, or sorry, one of the guests. This episode really more so talked about just what's going on with Dolores. There is definitely hindrances. There's everything that she has said she's done has been a falsehood. She is lying on herself and she is getting these messages, possibly from Arnold or from someone else. This is also connected in with someone who's trying to sabotage the park, as we found out that minor guy who's crashing his head in actually had a satellite uplink up his arm. But the one thing that this show has really started to do is it started to establish different characters. Thank God they got rid of the British narrative guy for now, because that guy was a terrible actor in my opinion. But we're focusing more so on the people who construct with the park, aka one of the butchers who is having his own fascination. So basically we find out that everyone in this park is screwed up in some sort of way, that you can't create something without basically having some sort of animalistic urge. That's what this place is. It's about bringing out the animalistic side. But the thing that I liked the most was at the very beginning of the episode where Anthony Hopkins is talking about how he had a dog and then it chased a cat, killed it, but then didn't know what to do. And I believe that's really reflecting on himself as he's created everything that he's wanted to, but he can't figure out what to go next. Like once he achieved the ultimate enhancements of AI, where to go through next, if not to cause his own destruction, or to bring up something different. So this is why I'm still on the fence of whether he's actually self-sabotaging or he's building something so epic that it might cause self-sabotage or he's slightly lost his marbles. Even though he said he didn't, uh, he's, I'm still on the fence. The thing that was also interesting is Jeffrey Wright was in it for like, like what, 30 seconds this time, which is interesting because he's been a mainstay in each episode. So the fact that this episode took a much more different narrative leap, as well as it also had the much more of a different character of Dolores. I very much enjoyed this episode. Very intense, very intriguing. We saw different character size. We saw that Ben Barnes got left by his buddy because he's an asshole. Um, but no, I'm very much enjoying the show. Each episode is always just another layer of intrigue on top of itself. There's always something new that this episode shows. I'm sorry, that the show shows, and honestly, I don't know if we're ever going to really get to the bottom of anything in this season. Like, we're still getting places. We're still, like, getting established. So, which is why, if, what, if I'm correct, there should be three episodes left after this. So, if we don't figure out anything from this season, I won't mind, because that's probably what's going to happen. I, unless there's ten. True Detective is eight. So, this might be eight, this might be ten, I haven't really checked into that yet. Either way, I'm going to give this episode a 6 out of 7. I thought this was a very good episode, very intriguing. I was on my, the edge of my seat the whole time, and I was very much into this episode. And I'm also trying to figure out now the timelines, because we start seeing these people in different times, and I wonder if it's all the same narrative or if we're seeing something from different times. Either way, I really enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys did too, and I'll see you guys next time.